Formula One is crossing the Atlantic, making its guest appearance on the American continent. The popular island circuit in the middle of the St. Lawrence River is one of the fastest of all. Its key feature, extremely high wear on the brakes. And right away, the first chicane ahead of the Virage Senna makes the carbon discs really glow. The drivers therefore have to balance use of their brakes over the full race distance of 305 kilometers. For unlike tires, brakes aren't changed at pit stops. In Canada, the teams run with fairly flat wings and therefore modest downforce. That produces greater speed and thus more cooling for the brakes. And for the track's winding sections, that's really needed. On we go into turn 8, which is taken at 120 km per hour. Then briefly back up again to over 300 and on to the spectacular L'Epingle hairpin, one of the best chances for overtaking on the circuit. From now on, it's almost all straight until the finish. But only almost, as there's still the final chicane with the famous Wall of Champions. This refers to the wall at the end of the corner in which many a champion has ended his race. Then, that's the lap done. Another 69 follow. We'll then know who'll be the champion of Montreal this time. Hopefully, without any crash into the wall.